Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do another kind of fun and interesting image of, where you can do a self-portrait. Uh, I've taken two photos of myself, and I'll just open them here. And one is of me looking a bit scary, and the other one is of me holding a bowl. That makes sense at the end. Okay, so that's one of me looking uh, a bit scared or a bit crazy, and then that's me probably still looking a bit scary, uh, but holding a bowl. And what we're going to do is we're going to change that bowl so it's actually my head. So it looks like I'm holding my own head. So what I need to do is go into this image and let's select around my face. So make sure, don't need to be entirely accurate because we're going to be using the brushes to get rid of it. Get rid of any bits around the side. Okay, so that's it selected and press Control C. And now I can close down that page. Don't need it anymore. Go on to this image, make a full screen, and just click anywhere on it and press Control V. So now I've got this funny picture of me on the screen. I need to go up to my toolbox and make that, instead of it's a floating layer, make it a proper layer. So go up to new, new layer, done. And now I can move this around and we're going to position it where this bolt is. So to help it, let's put the opacity down a little bit so you can see through it. And we use the move tool. Okay, and at the moment it's looking huge, it's very, very big. So the next thing we can do is either do scale tool or the perspective tool. Uh, they both work in the same ways, where if you get it all into the same position, looks like I'm screaming, but we're not going to use that, we're going to use the scale, scale tool here. And we want it a bit smaller. Now with GIMP, you have to constantly be checking and rechecking um, its size because whenever you move it around it becomes solid so its opacity comes up to 100% so let's to help us view it a bit better we'll go to zoom so we can zoom it in and I see that's getting pretty it's getting pretty close to where we want it if you click right in the middle of the box then you can position it let's click return for still good now what we want is so if that's the bowl there, that's my face there. I want to make sure that my face is covering up where all the bowl would be. So I'll be a bit more that way, maybe a little bit shorter that way. And there it looks like it's covering the whole bowl. So that's a picture of my face, that's a picture of the bowl. So now what we do is we will start, uh, first of all, add a layer mask. Add layer mask, full opacity so we can see all the way through it, that's great. And what we're going to do is we're going to paint on the bits of this image and then it'll bring out the image underneath. But you've got to be careful with it, otherwise you can start coming up with this bowl again. So we'll just control Z, that does that. And we'll zoom in even further, just want that bit. And we go to our brush tool click here and choose its size. I'm going to go for around about size 3. Uh, straight away, uh, you can be quite rough with it. Okay, so that's us done it quite roughly and it's pretty pants. So we need to start erasing back in the image from above. Let's do that. And let's zoom in even more. Start with just the top part, and on the race tool, let's make it smaller. Okay, so I think that's that kind of done. And what we can do is we can actually go and look at the actual layer mask itself by going to show, oh, show, ah, show layer mask. And here you can see 
all the bits which I've missed. So let's zoom out this time. So at the moment, I'd say that's actually pretty good. I don't think we need to worry about it too much more than that. Yeah, that's good. And if you really want to, then oh, whoops, wrong one. Then you can um, you know, make sure you cover up all the tiny holes, which uh, some people might notice. So that's that done. Okay, and then go back to the layer, go and unclick show layer mask and then what you can do is flatten that individual image so go to apply layer mask and there you have it that's an image of me holding my own head so right click Flatten image, and let's go to view. So there you go. That's an image of me holding my own head. That didn't take too long. What was that? That's about ten minutes maximum. Uh, but that's because I did it quite roughly. Uh, you can do more interesting stuff, I'm sure. But that's uh, that's. Can I show you how easily it can be done? So I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, send me an email. Um, please subscribe and leave some comments underneath. Thanks. Bye. Speak to you later.